Welcome back to Vintage Diecast Restoration. Up this week, I've got the last video in our six-part series of a collection acquisition that I made a few months back. Um, so up first, we've got a uh, number 74 Daimler bus. Um, I'm, I've kind of gone with uh, a theme with each of these videos, and unfortunately, I don't have much of a theme other than this is what's left in this video. Um, but really nice box really good shape on this all the end flaps i can't find anything wrong with this this is this is just perfect um and the model is amazing look at that no scratches no play wear no nothing just shiny paint and crispy stickers look at that you can see nothing wrong with this anywhere that i can find any fault with so really amazing piece here definitely a uh, a standout in the collection um i purchased a, a group uh, all together there were 36 original wheel uh, matchbox models in the box uh and then i got a handful of other things i got i think four of the 92 reprints and a model of yesteryear um, if you missed the earlier videos you can go back in our our channel library um, and see all of them but uh, one of the better collections that I've ever come across and, and happy that I was able to purchase it. Uh, ended up negotiating on the, the lot as a whole, um, bought the entire collection and worked out to be about $13 a car, um, which I normally end up paying 10 to $15 um, just for box. So to get the box and some mint original cars uh, was a really great deal for me. Um, here we got a number 42, uh, Studebaker Lark Wagoneer, I think, or Studebaker Station Wagon, Station Wagon here. Um, has the original cast Pointer and Hunter, uh, little plastic figures. Um, I know you can get these reproductions, and the reproductions, frankly, are, are really pretty good. Um, but you can always tell the difference, and all the delicateness, all the little lines and casting details um, these are definitely original pieces um, so really happy to get those with this the box is a uh, pretty good shape it's got a couple little issues we've got some tears starting on the end flaps sort of in the corners where you expect them um, all the inner flaps are there they're all intact uh, it's got a remnant of some kind of a sticker. I don't know if that's a, a pricing sticker or some something maybe from a collector. Normally, I leave those alone because I think they tell part of the history and stuff of the model, in it, especially if they're not in an area where it's blocking any of the artwork um, or affects how I could display it. I, I don't care, so I'll probably leave that alone. Uh, but overall, box is in really good shape. And this model, like everything else, that I've purchased in this collection is absolutely beautiful. Um, no edge wear anywhere to be seen. Um, all original, pretty shiny on the base there. I don't know if you can see the reflection on that, um, but everything on this looks to be great. Very little, if any, wear on the wheels. Toe hooks intact. All the plastics all the way around, everything looks good. And the, uh, the little sliding door on the top works just great. So beautiful little model, um, happy to, to add that one. I got three or four of these. I've done a, a couple restorations of these. We gave one of these away in our, uh, our sweepstakes or giveaway videos. Um, so that's heading out to one of my lucky viewers. Uh, I'm had a lot of success with that. I think I'm going to do a couple more giveaways here in the future. Um, hopefully it won't take us quite so long to reach the number of subscribers on this next tier. But uh, if there's a model specifically that I've done or one that you want to see me do for a giveaway, uh, leave it in the comments section down below. Um, I'm, I'm getting up to where my collection is getting large enough and I've got enough models in there that um, it's getting very close to be a uh, uh, time for a purge in the collection. So I may have something in there that we can purge out and do as another giveaway. Um, so let me know what you think. 
Up here, I've got a 73 Mercury. Number 73. It's a 1968 Mercury station wagon. Um, got the artwork with the little pups in the back window. One of my favorite things. And then the telltale squiggle lines of the auto steer function on this. Um, this has a sticker on the I think this is a collector sticker because it says 73-2 FI Ferrari except we know this is not a Ferrari um, let's see what we got here the car matches the box so this has the uh, famous or infamous auto steer function and you can see this one has the tabs in place so it's snapping back nicely uh, base looks pretty good. Wheels look really nice. You can see all the lines in them. Um, paint on this is sort of, I, I call it mixed. Um, it's got a little bit of a, an odd texture. Uh, just, I can feel it in it. It's kind of like a, an orange peel maybe, or it's almost got like a sticky texture, but it's not sticky. Um, but there's definitely something going on with the paint on this model. Um, you can also see a couple of these spots kind of right in there. That's not a scratch. It's it's something that's like in the paint, almost like something is stuck in the paint. Um, so really not sure what's going on with this, this model, but wheels and tires look good. Um, and if you know, I, I, I don't know, um, if you know what causes paint to get sticky on models, I've had two or three like this before. Uh, leave that in the comments. I'd love to, to learn what is happening with these um, and if it's something that uh, can be stopped or uh, once it starts if that's just the way it's going to be um, but overall not a bad model not, not in bad shape at all and I, I don't think it's been played with or if it has it's been very very light um, and a nice original condition box to go with it We'll have to we'll have to see if we can. This is an example where this is not a price tag sticker. It's on top of the artwork. It, it's wrong. It's not telling me anything about this model. So I might see if I can remove that sticker on the end of this box. So up next, I've got a number 19 Lotus racing car. Um, this is a harder model to find because I believe this came as part of a gift set. I don't know if these were sold individually or not, um, but this is green, the box is the orange. I've got uh, copies of both of these, um, and I think the orange came with the gift set, and I think the green was sold individually. So this is probably true to the box, probably original to what it was. Um, this model has a sticker. I think all my other ones have decals, so. This has the sticker on the top, but it's in really good shape. Uh, very little, if anywhere, on that. Um, I did notice, you can kind of see on the back here, this has a casting defect. So there's a, a little piece of, I don't know if it's flashing or whatever, um, but I don't believe it's supposed to be there. Um, but it's, it's probably from the factory that way with that little metal piece of flashing on the edge of it. So factory defects, factory errors are kind of a, a fun fringe thing to collect um, when you get into this. So I don't know, I have to post some pictures on my Facebook page, see if anybody can tell me um, if that detracts from the value or if it adds value to it. Uh, but would be interested to hear what you think about that flashing piece left on the base casting. So box looks amazing. Um, it's got one little condition issue, and it's right right here on the end of the box, you can see. Um, and I think that that is something that should be able to be repaired. And I think once it's repaired, because all the artwork is still in place, hopefully it's not something you even see or even notice. But uh, overall, really good shape on that. And uh, again, another nice piece. I'm happy I picked it up. Up next, I've got the only loose model uh, that was in this grouping that was sent. Um, and it's it's in rough shape. It's got a lot of uh, playwear here on the top. The decals are in place, but I think 
This was uh, an earlier version of these buses. This is the BP Visco Static uh, Route Master. Um, I think the numbers are different too. This is a 74, I think this is a number five, if I remember right. Um, but this one, uh, again, it wasn't part of this. This was thrown into the box and I'm very grateful to have it. Um, so nice little freebie that was uh, included with the rest of this. But um, like I said, not, not the greatest shape. We'll have to see how it cleans up because there's, there's definitely something like on stuck on the roof here. So we'll have to see, see what happens with that one. See if we can get that cleaned up a little bit. Up next, we've got a number 18 field car. Uh, I've got a couple of these in the collection, um, various states. So it'll be interesting to see what this one comes out like. Uh, we're missing some wheels like most of them. That's everything. Box looks like it's in really good shape. Um, all the artwork is crispy, great, clean. No rips or tears. It says the uh, standard graphics for the auto steer function. Um, really happy with, with that one. And the model, um, the, the wheels and tires on this, they're loose, uh, which is fairly common on these models. I, I think it, it happened a lot. Um, and I've been told a couple different things. I've, I've been told that it actually has nothing to do with the tires themselves. It's the uh, plastic on the hubs that that plastic shrinks and over time, they don't fit as tight. Um, but this one looks like it has never been played with. A very shiny base. Toe hook is intact. Um, got those standout bright red wheel hubs in there. Top looks like it's really good. No scratches, no edge wear, play wear anywhere on this model. So really, really nice piece. Um, and for those of you that follow my videos and stuff, you know, I don't, I don't have a lot of mint in box or mint original models. So uh, this, this collection acquisition has probably given me more mint original uh, models in the box than I'll ever get in one place before. So uh, pretty happy about this purchase. Uh, it was a great buy. I ended up paying uh, $13 a car as it, the way it all broke down with the number of models that were in this. So. Another really good buy, very happy with that piece. And then last but not least, I saved one of my favorite models for last. This is the Lord Nielsen Ice Cream Shop. So, very nice little box here. Uh, looking through everything, it's tough for me to find anything wrong with this. Um, all the artwork is beautiful, all the tabs are in place, not a rip or tear anywhere on this. Um, this is how I love to have my boxes. And uh, the only thing better than a Minty Fresh box is a Minty Fresh model to go with it. So this sucker is gorgeous. Look at this, um, not a scratch anywhere on the glass. All the decals are intact all the way around. There's one little, little dab in the paint up here. And honestly, like I said, when I when I find stuff like this, where I can tell right where it would rub on the front of the box, I think some of these are from the factory that way. Um, you know, looking at everything else on this, shiny plastic on the wheels, the casting lines in place. Um, this has never been rolled. So very, very nice little model. Um, excited to have that in the collection. I'm looking at this spot up here Originally, I thought that was a scratch maybe in the paint, but as I get it closer, it's silver. And I think maybe it's a, a little of the paint from down here um, that maybe the artist brush got carried away a little bit and got a couple little dabs of silver up there because those are not scratches in the paint. So we'll have to see, maybe a little solvent can take that off. But uh, other than that, wonderful mint original model um, very, very happy to have that in my collection. So that's going to do it uh, for this six-part series of this collection acquisition. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give me a like. Uh, let me know uh, what you want to see done with some of these. And uh, as always, join us next week for another 
Vintage Diecast Restoration.